it just shows you how vulnerable knowledge is. Mm -hmm. I really think about that today because um, obviously we have a lot of books and most things that are like most physics work, most work on archaeology, most work on history is, is available in book form. But how much of what we have is on hard drives? Mm, and if there is a power yeah. outage, just a global worldwide powder, power outage that lasted six months, mm. we're fucked. Like, yeah. we, we don't know anything yeah, anymore. Yeah. It, it's a small amount of time for a, an enormous cataclysmic disaster to completely erase tens of thousands of mm, years of mm -hmm. understanding of everything. Yeah. Everything. We, we, we would have no knowledge. One generation removed from electronics would have no knowledge of how to recreate it, what steps need to be taken, what, what you have to build a chip plant. Mm. Where, where are they right now? They're in Taiwan. Mm. What, what the fuck are you talking about? How yeah, are we going to yeah. do this? Hard drives? That's a precarious place yeah. for them to be. Starting from scratch, starting from scratch today we would be very similar, I think, to probably what starting from scratch was post the Great Flood, mm. post the Great Comet impacts, all the yeah. Younger Dryas impact series stuff. Civilization, if that stuff is correct, if if there is uh, if Graham's position and Randall Carlson's position is that there was probably a much more advanced civilization than just hunter gatherers that lived mm -hmm. ten thousand mm -hmm. plus years ago. How many thousands of years would it take before we started calming down again? Well, it seems like it took about five, four or five thousand years before civilization emerges. A really long time. A really long I, time. I think about that with like foraging, you know? Mm -hmm. I was reading uh, yesterday, I was reading uh, uh, Exploration Fawcett. Have you ever read this before or listened no. to the audiobook? 